okay. Make sure everyone's okay. Good. And then once you finish there, we're going to stay up in our tall seated position. So sitting up nice and tall, you're at the height of your alignment. And then start to draw those shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, draw them down, lengthening the neck. Deep breath in, draw them up, try to close those shoulders towards your ears and exhale, pull them down. So we're lengthening the back of our neck here. Inhale, drawing them up. Exhale, pull them down. Good, one more time like this. Really feel them coming up towards your ears. Good, everybody, fantastic. And then exhale, draw them down. Lovely, guys. Keeping that nice, long posture, bring your left hand out to the side and then reaching over to the left side as far as you can without your opposite area coming off the mat. Reaching over, so you should have a long stretch there. And then bring your right hand up and just reach it over to the top corner. So we're finding like a long line from our right hip right up to our right arm. As you exhale, use your core muscles to propel the body up to centre. Good. Now we reach over as far as we can with that right hand without our left side peeling off the mat. We find the floor and then we reach that left arm, finding that strong diagonal, feeling that nice opening through the left side body. Very nice, everybody. Now we're going to use that core to propel us back up to our centre. Up to the center, very nice guys. From here, bring your hands in front of you. Now we're going to, with control, take our legs to the side and come up to our standing position without using our hands. Good, very good everyone. So we're just using our core muscles. We're gonna do a little bit of standing work to start the class today. So the first thing we're gonna do is some Pilates lunges with some um, extensions. So I'm gonna do them on a diagonal so you can see, but you guys do them down your mat so you're staying on your mat if you have a mat. So to start, just taking your hands onto your waist now, hands on our waist is to make sure that we're drawing our core in towards our center, also to help us with balance, but it gives you like a little reminder if you start to feel your belly come out and you're arching your back, you can use your hands to realign yourself and scoop in through your core, fantastic. You're gonna take our right leg forward and our left leg back behind us. So just a nice long stance, both feet are facing to the front, we take our nice posture that we found at the start of class. As we inhale, we're gonna bend our back knee, lower it down to the mat, our front knee directly over our front foot, and we come up on our exhale. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Now we're using our muscles, we're not jerking up, we're using the muscles to draw the body up. Pushing up, two more. Deep breath in, and up. Good, last one here, up. Now holding it here, we're gonna come down to our low position, reach those arms out in front of you. So we're scooping up through the core, arms out in front, and we're just gonna do some little pulses in our back knee. So back knee is just hovering off the floor, staying nice and low, keeping that spine nice and tall. As we inhale, we reach the arms up towards the ceiling, exhale, big circle around, Nice. Inhale, scoop. Just finding some shoulder mobilization. Exhale to circle. Inhale. Hold the arms here. Rise up onto the ball of your front foot. Hold it. Go a bit lower. Hold, hold, hold. Take one more deep breath. Lower that heel. Bring yourself up to standing and bring your hands back onto your waist. Nice. Now from here, bend your front knee, start to transfer your weight over your front leg. And we're going to bring, so body's right forward here. We're gonna bring that knee right up in front of us, foot to our knee, and then exhale, send it back on a diagonal. So not too high, just a few inches off the floor. Tummy is engaged, chest is up. Balance is in play here. So inhale, lift, exhale, bend your supporting leg, send that leg back. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, scoop through the core. Exhale, send it back. If you need to hold on to something, you can put your hand on the wall, but you're all pretty hardcore. Try and do it without holding on. Good. Two more. Use that ab area. Control that movement. Inhale up. Exhale, send it out. Hold it here. Tap the foot down to the floor. Lift it up one. Inhale, tap. 
Exhale, two. Inhale, tap. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Ex inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Hold it, last little thing. Reach your arms in line with your head. Find a long diagonal. And exhale, bring it down. Very good work, guys. Give your legs a little shake. Just let those muscles shake around. Very, very nice, guys. Let's go into the second side. <clears throat> so finding that long lunge, making sure our front knee is going directly over our front foot and our back knee is staying parallel. So try, make sure we're not opening it out or in. We wanna keep it right in line with our hips just to keep us nice and safe with our alignment. Scooping up through the core, pulling in through those abdominals. Here we go, inhale we lower, exhale we lift. Now as we lower, we're not bringing our body forward, we're gonna keep everything from here up completely still. Yeah, fantastic work everybody, looking great. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure you're exhaling through your mouth, that's it. Inhale, exhale. Two more, looking really good guys. Beautiful lunges. Lovely, okay, we're going to hold it down here. Bring those arms in front. As we bring them in front, we're not moving that body. Keep the body still, little pulses. We just hover that knee down towards the floor. That's it, squeeze up through your core. Inhale, lift the arms up, shoulders stay down. We circle the arms, we do a big scoop around. Nice. Inhale, we lift. Shoulders are drawing down as we lift those arms up. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. Exhale round. Lovely, guys. Lift your front heel. Hold that position. Feel that back thigh engaged. Drop it down and coming up. Very nice work. Bring your hands onto your waist and then start to transfer your weight forward onto your standing leg. That's it. Now make sure you haven't hinged too far forward. Keep that chest pulling up. Inhale as we come up. Bring your left knee up to your right knee. So they're tapping there. That's it. Exhale, pressing back. Now as you press back with that leg, imagine you're trying to reach it back further so that you get length in those muscles. Beautiful, guys. Front knee is over our front foot, keeping our chest pulling up. Inhaling. Oh, guys, you look fantastic this morning. What did you all do last night? Looking so good. <laughs> Probably nothing because we're all in isolation. <laughs> good, hold it here. We tap the foot down, inhale, exhale, lift. Nothing moves. Core should be on fire. Yes, yeah, squeeze your abdominals, control from your hip. Lovely, for three, exhale. Two, strong exhale. Good, last one, doing so well, guys. Hold it here, keep everything still, and then reach those arms forward, find that diagonal. And coming in, very nice work. Give everything a shake. Very good, guys, well done. Just take a little breather. <coughs> and then find a nice, wide leg stance. That's it, excellent. Okay. Let's go into some more, just a tiny bit more leg work before we hit the deck. So knees are going out, toes are pointing out, heels are pointing in. Yep, so we wanna make sure in this position, I want you to imagine, some of you remember me saying this in class, that you're in a toaster. So you're a piece of toast. I've, you've all dreamed of being a piece of toast in your life, I'm sure. So I don't want you to stick your butt out to bend down. You gotta keep everything down and up so you don't burn your ass when you go down, okay? Hands onto your waist, lengthening your spine, shoulders are down, we bend, piece of toast, and up, beautiful. Deep breath in, exhale, knees to the side everybody, inhale, squeeze your tush when you get to the top, inhale, now squeeze your butt, that's it. Good, two more times, deep breath in, Exhale, hold it here, lovely. Now we're gonna bring the hands in front. Imagine you've got a big beach ball, a big beach ball in your hands, that's it. Little pulses, 
Now this is just to keep our chest open and our arms engaged. So elbows are up, squeezing underneath our biceps. Lovely. Now we're going to reach that beach ball up above your head, reach it up and bring it down. Good, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bring it down. Keep your shoulders pulling down. One more set, deep breath in. Exhale, hold it here, go low as you can. Left heel and down. Oh, it's just started snowing. Right knee, right heel and down. Inhale, don't get distracted, focus on the pain. My window is just over there, that's why I said that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, you can play in the snow after Pilates. Inhale, exhale. One more set. Good, now hold it here. Let's go for six together. Inhale, one. Exhale, down. Inhale, two. Exhale, down. Inhale, three. Exhale, inhale, four. Exhale, inhale, five. You're killing it, guys. Well done. Last one, hold it. Go a bit lower and coming up. Well done, guys. Walk your feet in. Give them a shake. Very nice work. Let's do a very quick quad stretch and then we'll come to the floor. So just take your right foot, pull it up towards your bottom, just stretching out the front of your thigh here. Deep breath. Exhale, release. And second side, just draw that left heel in towards your bottom. Very good. Nicely done, everybody. Okay, let's take a roll down to our mat. So we're working on our transitions. So bring yourself to the back of your mat. Take your feet nice and wide apart. So you want your feet to the edge of the mat today. That's it. We're gonna bring our hands up in front of us like we were doing at the start of class. And then as you exhale, reach them up to the ceiling, draw the ribs down. Inhale, circle the arms around to the side of your torso. Lowering the neck to the ch uh, chin to the uh, chest, back of the neck extending, and we roll all the way down to hang over those legs. Just let the body hang nice and heavy here, bending through the knees, just alternating through the back of the knees. Take a few little bends there, and then from here, walking yourself out, and we're going to find a downward facing dog or a triangle to start. So we're making like a giant triangle with our body. Heels are pressing down to the mat. We're lengthening through the back of the spine. And we're going to do some ripples into our plank here. So from here, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna rise up onto the balls of the feet and then walk our hands forward and find ourselves in a strong plank. Good, we take one deep breath there and then we push our bottom, our hips up towards the ceiling and we walk ourselves back to find that strong position. We're gonna do that two more times. Press into the balls of the feet, lift the heels and walk yourself forward, finding your strong plank, find that strong line through the torso. Very nice work guys, pushing back. We're going to do one more here. Deep breath in, press into the balls of the feet. Coming forward, finding your plank. Lovely. Now we're gonna lower down onto our belly in five slow counts. If you need to drop your knees, drop your knees. Otherwise, try to keep your knees off the floor. Elbows going back for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful guys. From there, roll directly over onto your back. I'm just going to realign my camera slightly. Coming onto your back, everybody. Nice. And when you when you arrive on your back, just give your knees a cuddle. <clears throat> Squeeze your knees in towards your chest and just take a few moments to find yourself on the floor with your breath, just relaxing that body, taking some deep breaths. One more inhale, exhale, release the feet down. Lovely, now we're gonna go straight into our bridge here today. So I want you to just make sure that your fingers can just touch the back of your heels. You're pressing your hands down into the mat. We're gonna start with a few pelvic uh, tilts just to keep our pelvis and tummy engaged. 
So to start, I just want you to imagine your hips are going to tuck up towards your ribs and you're gonna lift your pubic bone slightly towards your face. So make that tucking motion, you'll feel your, your belly go in slightly and your pelvis tucking. And then as you exhale, arch, reverse that and arch the lower back. You might get a little bit of space under the mat as you send your pelvis the other direction. Now we're gonna do that a few more times. Inhale as you scoop and roll, tuck the pelvis towards your face, up towards your chest. We reverse as we gently arch that lower back. Good, let's do that two more times. Really good for lower back pain, guys. If you get anyone suffers from lower back pain, doing a few of these each day, just keeps those lower back muscles, spine really working. Nice, okay, now we're gonna find our happy medium between those two places and we're gonna come up towards our bridge. So we take a strong inhale. As we exhale, we scoop and we push all the way up to find our first bridge of the class. Making sure you can tap the back of your heels. At the top, we're going to reach the arms up and then exhale, we roll down as our arms come with us, pressing down through the hands. As soon as we touch the mat, we come all the way back up. We take just one moment down. We reach those arms up in line with the shoulders. Good, everybody. With control, one vertebrae at a time, you press and roll, imprinting on the mat all the way down. Very nice, guys. Deep breath in, coming up, scooping through those abdominals. Beautiful. We're going to hold at the top. Little pulses in our glutes. So we're just lowering our pelvis slightly and then pushing it up slightly just to really switch on those bottom muscles. For three, two, one, push up and hold. Now keep your arms there as you lower down. Lower all the way down to the mat. Keep the arms where they are and just drop your knees to the front. Drop your knees to the back. Drop your knees to the front. Drop your knees to the back, beautiful. That was just like a little intermission for you. <laughs> okay, we're coming back up. Deep breath in, exhale, pushing up. Nice, everybody. Now this time, if you're, if you're uh, feeling a bit fatigued or it's a bit tricky, you can bring your hands down for the next set of exercises. Maybe start with your arms up and just see how you go. And then just remember you have the option of bringing them down to the mat. So from this position, transfer your weight into your left leg and lift your right leg off the floor into a bent position. We're going to tap it down as we keep our hips high. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. We've got three more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, squeeze your left glute. Good, everybody. Hold it here, stretch the knee and bend the knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Don't let your hips move. Three, exhale, two, exhale, one. Hold it here, let's draw some circles. Just a few, breathe, 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 reverse. Inhale, exhale, lovely guys. Now reach your foot, see if you can grab your knee and roll down. Nicely done, guys. Take a breather, hug your knees into your chest. Very good work, everyone, that was fantastic. You're gonna feel your left bottom is a little bit on fire. So let's light up the right butt cheek now. <laughs> so we have even pain. Okay, bring your feet down, just take another little windscreen wiper with those knees from side to side. We're doing really well. Okay, coming back into your starting position, reaching those arms up if you want that arm variation, but keeping in mind, you can keep those hands pressing down into the mat, that's absolutely fine. So, scooping in through the abdominals, we take a deep breath and as we exhale, we push up and we find our strong bridge second side. We're transferring our weight onto our right foot. Press into the back of your shoulders. We lift our left leg, keep the left knee bent. Inhale, down, exhale, inhale, exhale. Very good work, guys. Just hinging from that hip. Keep the pelvis high, three, and up, two, and up. Point through the foot, 
Nice, hold it here. Stretch and down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. For three, good. Two, one. Hold it here, circles. Deep breaths. Hips are high, reverse the circles. Three, two, one. Reach for your knee. Roll down. Very good. Now keep that leg where it is, guys, this time. If you need to bend the knee slightly, bend the knee, but try to keep that leg straight. Just taking a gentle little stretch there. One more deep breath. And then just switching legs, just quick little stretch because we're going to move into some leg extensions with our abs. So just preparing, give your ankles a little roll out if that feels nice. Very, very nice, guys. Okay, we're going to start with our double leg stretch extension. So bring your knees into your chest. Just take a moment, a little breather before we move into this exercise. Take just a second to relax. Now, the aim of the game in all our abdominal series is obviously our abs, but we want to think about always lengthening our muscles. So reaching our arms and feet as far away from each other as they can go so that we're creating length in our muscles and space for them to, to grow. Okay, hug the knees in, make sure the feet are touching and then just elevate your chest slightly off the mat, just like you're doing a little crunch. Draw the knees in towards the chest. We take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're going to send the arms and the legs away from each other. Exhale, circle and draw the knees in. Now, if that's too much for your back, your upper neck, you can keep your head on the floor, that's fine. Deep breath, exhale. Inhale, scoop it in. Good, guys. Let's do three more like this. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Keep that back flat on the mat. Nice, guys. Now we're going to open it up, reach and hold. Take your hands to the back of your head. Little crunches. So hold the legs where they are. Squeeze your abdominals for five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees in. Nice, guys. Relax the head down. Give the head a little break. Neck and head relax. Good work. Take your two hands your, into your basket grip now. Drop your left knee down to the, left foot down to the floor and just give your right knee a squeeze in towards your chest. Just start to circle around your right knee. Just mobilizing your hip area. Oh, what is creaking right underneath my back. And around the other way. Get a nice little massage in that lower back. Very nice. Drop that foot down, switching sides, just mobilizing the hips. Other way. Lovely, guys. Draw that knee into the chest. Extend your right leg out long. Now you can come up to your crunch position with your upper body or keep your head down. If you know you've got an aggravated neck, just choose which option is best for your body today. Coming up with your up here, make sure you've got your chin away from your chest. So like you've got a piece of fruit underneath your chin. Now we do two pulses. We pull the knee in one, two, and we switch. One, two two good inhale scoop it in exhale little pulls with using those hip flexors giving them a good stretch as well as using our abdominals good inhale exhale inhale exhale good deep breath in stretch those legs long away from you good two more lovely guys hold it here Take your left, your right leg up in line with your hip. Keep your left foot off the floor and just take your hands to the back of your head. Now we're going to bring our elbows to tap our knee and then open them out long. We're not going to drop our head down to the mat though. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, open. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, open. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, 
Inhale, exhale, switching sides straight to the second side. Inhale, exhale, tap the knee, open out. Inhale, exhale, last three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one. Good, and draw the knees in towards the chest. Well done, guys. Again, just take a breather. Drop those knees, circle the legs, whatever feels nice for your body. You can come down and just take a little windscreen wiper once more from side to side, if that feels nice. <clears throat> Very good. All right, let's keep moving on. We're gonna extend now our right leg up to the ceiling and take hold of the back of the right calf if you can. Now, if that's really painful for you, remember you can keep a bend in that knee for these exercises. That is absolutely fine. From this position, extend your left leg out long and then coming up into your crunch. Now we're gonna do that same double pulse tug with the legs extended, okay? So we pull that knee towards our face for two little pulls. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale. Belly is in, chin is away from the chest, shoulders are broad, good. Inhale, scoop it in, exhale. Lovely work, guys. Inhale, exhale, one more each leg, and then we're gonna take the hands away and just do singles. Single, 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 single. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Inhale for two, exhale for two. Last set, inhale for two, exhale for two. Bring the leg up and hug the knees in. Well done. Take your breather. Very nice work. Just close the eyes, take a few moments there, just breathing, relaxing. We're going to move into next, just so you know, we're gonna move into some roll ups. So when you're ready and you've finished your little breather, just send your legs out long. Take a full body stretch, reach the arms up above the head. Imagine I've got hold of your feet and I'm pulling your body apart, getting that nice long stretch. Lovely. Now we're going to bring your feet. You've got a few options with the feet. You can bring them touching or have them slightly apart, like hip distance apart. Just don't have them too wide. So definitely no wider than your mat, yeah? Now, we've got a natural spine here, so you might have a natural sort of curve in your spine. So we're not tucking or using the pelvis in any way. We're just in a natural spine position. We're going to reach the arms up behind us. On our exhale, we're going to come to our strong roll up using our abdominals. If this is too hard for you, bend your knees and use your hands to walk yourself up, okay, as an option. Otherwise, doing the full roll ups, deep breath in. Exhale, on the strong exhale, we come up to our seated position like we're sitting against a wall. We reach the arms up, we open them out wide, and then we're gonna scoop back from this position today. So scooping back into the abdominals, drawing the belly button in, shoulders down, and we roll with control all the way down. We take a full stretch up and over. Deep breath in, strong exhale to sit up smoothly as we open through the chest. We scoop and we roll back down using those abdominals, isolating the spine. Yeah, beautiful work guys, looking really in control, lovely. One more like this. Exhale, strong coming up. Excellent work, we open, we scoop as we turn, turn on those abs to draw ourselves down and back. That's it, all the way down. Now we're gonna add a little variation. We're gonna go to one side, scoop around to the middle and then come down the other side. So hang on, I'm just gonna do one facing the camera so you can see what I mean. We're gonna come up towards the right side. We come around to the center. We go to the left and then from the left, we roll all the way back down and then we'll switch to the left. So we're trying to get our obliques, our side abdominals to help us. So we're gonna come up to the right first, circle around, come down to the left. Then we're gonna come up to the left, circle around, down to the right. If you're like, absolutely not, just come up the middle, it's fine. 
but try this because it will help we'll get into our um our side obliques okay so coming down we're gonna take ourselves to the right first deep breath in strong exhale reaching towards the right reach 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 take your arms through the center to the left and from the left side we roll through the back down we reach the arms up try to keep your bottom on the mat everyone deep breath in exhale reach to the left that's it circle around to the middle round to the right and tuck and roll down yeah good very nice let's do one more each side deep breath in exhale reach as far as you can over without your left bottom coming off the mat nice everyone looking so good lovely last one exhale that's it Dolls fine back to the center coming down and relax well done my lovelies very good just bend your knees come back into the middle of your mat bend your knees take a breather here just relax everything down relax the hands down to the mat drop the knees side to side or just holding yourself still whatever feels good very very nice work lovely and then scooping underneath those knees cross the ankles we'll take a few nice rocks up and down the spine just relaxing the back try not to put too much tension in your back here try to relax your back muscles making your way up onto your bottom excellent and then just make sure that you've got space in front of you yeah so you're not too close to the camera here space in front of you to do some leg stuff okay so we're going to come down onto our, our forearms here now i've been doing this a lot in my classes lately because i think it helps us really focus on our posture because if you start to sink down like this you will eventually get pain in your back so this helps us remember we need to be using our upper body posture all the time in pilates so we're at the beach but we're not chilling at the beach we're just at the beach <laughs> we're on we're on high alert at the beach hands down as it's snowing outside that's so relevant okay press down into your hands draw your chest up towards the ceiling like you've got a little piece of string on your sternum and it's just pulling you up slightly so that we're keeping all those muscles really active press down into the arms now we're going to do some harder exercises here today so coming onto the tips of your toes squeeze your belly in towards your spine and then stretch your legs out on a strong diagonal so not too low not up here diagonal that's it from your diagonal just bend your knees and tap your toes down inhale stretch exhale tap inhale exhale good three more now you could lift your hands off the mat at any time don't press down too much here lovely work guys last one hold it here turn your toes out slightly so your heels are touching and so you're in like a turned out position heels touching toes to the side we drop our left leg down to the mat exhale we lift inhale right leg exhale lift inhale left exhale inhale right exhale one more each side looking great lovely work now if you want to do the last six with your hands off the mat come with me you're going to come up to your teaser let's do the last six here inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale squeeze the core last two very good work guys last one reach and hold draw the knees in take a little breather nice guys very nice work take a good breather you're doing really well one more breath okay we're coming back up to that fun position that we all love at our beach i mean if you don't like the beach you can go somewhere else i'm not judging your your particular favorite environment if you like to sit like this in the park then you can be near a park a pub whatever i don't care just find somewhere nice <laughs> okay pressing down now we're going to do some leg circles with both legs so this is quite tricky we're coming into that diagonal we're going to circle around to the left 
we come all the way down, we come back up to the right, then we tap the heels and exhale, we come back up. And then we go the whole way around to the left, tap the heels and up, right, tap the heels up, left, tap the heels up, okay? Let's do six, nice even number. So we do one to the right, one to the left, right, left, right, left, okay? Here we go. Now, if that is too much, if that's too challenging, you can come up and just do one leg at a time. Yeah? Just like this. If you want us to just focus on your alignment, you're still using your tummy there, that's a fine option. Okay, otherwise we're gonna do it here together. Here we go. Deep breath in, exhale, extend those legs. We circle around to the right, all the way around. Up to the center, we tap down and we scoop up. Round to the left, now big circles. Your bottom might peel off the mat slightly, that's okay, for this one. Good. Round to the right, all the way around. Abs of steel, and down and up. Left, check in with your posture, keep your chest extended. One more each side, you've got this. Deep breath in, exhale, inhale lower, exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Good work guys, so good. Lower it down, hold it, hold it here, hold it here. Reach those arms. Hold it low, hold it low, and coming up. Nice, just come forward, take a little stretch. Very good, just breathe it out, relax your head. Take a breath there. <clears throat> nice. From there, my lovelies, just rolling over onto your knees, and we'll take a quick child's pose before we move on. So just bring your heels, uh, feet to touch underneath your bottom, and then just take a stretch forward with your upper body. Take a well-deserved little breather there. Just relax the chest down to the mat. And you're thinking about in this position, really reaching those fingers away from you so that you can open up the back of the ribs, open up the back muscles, really lengthening forward on the mat. Nicely done. All right, when you are ready, coming up onto your knees, take yourself to the back of the mat or the front of the mat, just uh, make sure you've got space on one side. We're gonna do both sides, obviously, so yeah. I'm just gonna move my mat slightly, that's it. Yeah, so in this position, we're going to extend our right leg out to the side, bring our arms up. Now in this position, I want you to not just hold them out, but imagine someone's got hand on this arm, hand on that arm, pulling those arms apart. So we're broadening through that back. If I was looking at you from behind, your muscles are going all outways there. That's it, good. Now from here, we're gonna tilt over to the left side with that hand, bring the hand down to the mat, make sure your chest hasn't gone with you, or keeping your chest at the side, pulling up towards the ceiling. Good, reach your left hand, sorry, that's your right hand, reach your right hand up and over your head. As we inhale, we're gonna bring our knee to tap our elbow, and then exhale, extend it long. Inhale, exhale, reach. Good, inhale, tap, exhale, reach. Inhale, tap, exhale, reach. One more time, inhale, tap, exhale, hold it here. We drop the foot down to the mat, exhale, lift. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. For two, beautiful work everybody. One, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bring your right hand down, you're gonna turn your body now so that you're facing the mat, one hand like kind of, yeah, this position, that's it. So your right hip is now down to the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, little bend in your elbow, and you're going to bring your right knee to your right elbow, tap it to tap the elbow, exhale, send it straight back behind you. Inhale, exhale, reach it back. Inhale, exhale, reach it back. Three more, keeping everything else still, Beautiful guys, lovely isolation, two, last one, hold it here, extend your opposite arm out and we lift arm and leg and bring it halfway down, inhale, exhale, 
inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. Bring your left hand back down to the back, keep your leg where it is. And then from here, tuck your left toe. We're gonna push ourselves up to a three-legged downward facing dog. So from here, push yourself up, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. That's it. Now we're gonna bend back down. We're gonna do this two more times. Bend down to hover, exhale, push back. Good, bend down to hover, exhale, push back. Last one, bend down to hover, hold it here, drop your right leg, find your plank. Yes, hold your plank for one deep breath. Exhale, drop your knees, send your bottom back, well done. Breathe here. Just take a breath, or two, or three. <laughs> Have a little breather. Very nice. Okay, second side. Let's go to the other side of our mat, other end of your mat, that's it. Finding that nice kneeling position. And then you're gonna take your left leg out to the side. Just make sure you've got space for when we turn around. Reach the arms to start. So finding that length, that extension through the back, core is pulling up, abs are tight. And then we tilt over to the floor, making sure our chest is staying up, that's it. Reach that left arm up and over your head. We tap, deep breath in, exhale, we reach long. Inhale, keep breathing really strong, inhales and exhales here. These are big movements for the body, so big breaths in turn. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that's it. Inhale, exhale, we hold it here. Tap down and lift, and down and lift and down and lift for three and two and one very nice reach and hold bring your chest down pivot your underneath leg underneath you hands are underneath your shoulders so make sure you're not back here or too far forward right underneath your shoulders we bend our left knee towards our left elbow squeeze our abs exhale send it directly back that's it inhale bring it in Good, everybody. Exhale, directly back behind you. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, exhale, lovely. Last one. We hold it here. We're going to stretch our right arm forward. We lift it up and halfway down. Inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, for three. Beautiful work, everybody. Breathe. And last one, hold it here. Bring your right hand down. You're gonna tap, you're, tap, you're gonna tuck your right toes, press into your hands as you exhale, you push yourself back up. That's it, inhale, coming down. Exhale, push two. Inhale, exhale, push three. Nice, guys, calm down. Hold it, send your left leg back. Bring your right leg back, you're in your plank. We hold our plank. Bring your feet to touch, drop your heels to the right side of the mat. Quick side plank, because what is our life without a little side plank? <laughs> Exhale back to center. With control, smoothly transition to your second side. Exhale, center, good. Come down onto your forearms. Let's do the same thing down here. Heels to the right. Smoothly lift that left arm. Exhale, heels to the left. Smoothly lift the right arm. Exhale, hold it for one deep breath and then drop your pelvis. Come straight into a gentle stretch of the upper body. Just very gentle. So just pushing up into that upper chest area. Little breather here. And then just lower yourself down to the mat. Relax your hands underneath your head and just take a few breaths on your stomach. Just let your breath relax. Feel that constriction, uh, constricted breath through the chest. 
that compression through the chest muscles. The floor sort of makes a little bit of a sort of a restricted breathing pattern for our for our lungs, which helps us sort of calm down our breath and our sort of our yeah cardiovascular system. Okay, we're going to do a tiny bit of back work before we finito today, my loves. So for these exercises, you can have your feet together, your feet apart, not too wide, like I said before, definitely not wider than the mat, but just whatever's comfortable for your hips and your pelvis. I quite like mine a little bit apart, but if you want to have them together, have them together. Okay, hands underneath your face. One hand stacked on top of the other hand. We're just going to do some upper back lifts just to get our back uh, warming, well, warming up, back working. So we're not going to poke our belly into the mat to lift our chest. I want you to imagine you're scooping your tummy up into your spine all the time here so that we're using these big muscles in our back to lift our chest. Deep breath in. Exhale to prepare. We're going to come up on an inhale. Inhale, we lift. We hold it here. We reach our arms out to the side like a super person, because I'm not gender, I'm not gender discriminating, super person. <laughs> Bring your hands in, exhale lower. Inhale, reach into your super person. Bring them in, exhale lower. Come a little bit higher if you're feeling really super person. <laughs> and down, inhale, we reach. In, exhale, three more. We reach. Exhale, strong inhale. We reach. Let's do one more. Now we're going to hold it in our super person. We're going to fly over to the left. Center, fly over to the right. Center, inhale, left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left, doing so well. Exhale, inhale, right. Come back to the middle. Bring your hands to tap your shoulders and just do some tiny little pulses here. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. That's hard to talk and do. <laughs> Take a breather. Good. One more little breath there, guys. Bring your hands in towards your, in towards your pecs. Push yourself up and then just push yourself back to your child's pose. Good. Rolling yourself up. Find your four-point posture. We're just going to do a few of our cat and cows before we move into our stretches, just to keep our spine really mobilizing. Always good to use in our classes. So scoop the belly in, pushing the spine up towards the ceiling. And then reverse, arching through the back. Send your chin and chest up towards the roof. Just moving through a couple of these at your own pace. Keep that spine really mobile and nice and fluid in our back. Lovely. Find your center position. We're going to come into a little pigeon stretch. So you're going to bring your right foot forward into a bent position at the front of your mat, just coming down. And then you're going to send your back leg behind you, coming up tall into our spine and then coming down onto our forearms here. So this is a strong one for the glutes. Yeah. Try to relax your bottom down towards the floor. And we're gonna hold it for just a few deep breaths. Good, gently push yourself up and then sit down onto your bottom, onto that side and swing your other leg around to the front. That's it. So now we should be in like a high retire tree stretch. So right leg is right up into your inner thigh. We reach the arms up, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reach forward, chest and body forward and take hold of the foot or the leg wherever you can reach and just relax your head down wherever you are. So try to think about folding your body across the front of your leg.
One more deep breath there. Rolling up through that spine, finding a nice tall back. And then take your opposite hand to your, your bent knee. And then we're going to reach that right arm up and over. And we're going to come into a side stretch. So wherever that body goes, wherever you go is fine. We're aiming to get down to that foot, but we don't want to collapse the chest. We want to keep the chest open and peeling our body underneath that top arm. So we get a very strong opening through the right side of our body. One more deep breath there. And then with control, reach that arm forward. Bring yourself up. Sitting nice and tall. Lovely. Just coming over onto your knees and we'll take our pigeon on the other side. So you're going to bring your left foot forward this time into that bent position. Right leg goes back behind you. Inhale to lift. And then just coming down, sitting down onto that hip. Relax the head. Couple more deep breaths, just really relaxing into those muscles. Very gently rolling up, sitting onto your left side and sewing your right leg around. That's it. We sit nice and tall, lengthening through our spine, reaching those arms up. And then exhale forward over that front leg. Remember, you can just come to where your body falls. Try and relax your head wherever that is, just so that the back of your neck can get a really good stretch. And that helps encourage our spine to go down. Gently roll up through that spine, one vertebrae at a time, restacking the spine. Take your right hand across to your left knee. Deep breath in to reach that left arm up, coming over to your side stretch. Making sure we don't collapse the chest here. Keeping that broad opening through the left side. Keep your bottom on the floor. One more breath there, everyone. And then we're going to reach that left arm forward. Reach it forward to pull your body up. That's it. Very good. We'll take a forward fold. So bring both knees in. We're going to start with our knees bent today. And then just take your feet. So your kind of arms are on the outside of your knees, yeah? And then make sure you can sort of wiggle your butt back and you wiggle your feet forward. Try to keep your chest where it is. If you have a wood floor, that's really, actually you can do it on carpet as well, but you're gonna slide your feet forward. Try to keep your head and chest down and then just fold yourself over to your forward fold. Couple of breaths, just holding it here. And then from here, reach your arms forward, grow through your spine like we do in our roll up, lengthen up tall, and then open your arms out to the side. Nice, guys. Okay, last little twist to finish just for our spines. So bring your right leg up, just cross your right leg across your left leg, so you've got a bent knee. Take your right hand behind you, press your hand down, fingers facing away from you. Reach your left arm up and then just take your left elbow across your front knee and just twist your body to the back of the room. You might find a little crack in your back. Press down into your glutes to lengthen your spine. And exhale, gently release. Take a little counter release to the set that's the opposite side. And then just extend your, your right leg out, picking up your left leg, bend it across. Sitting up nice and tall, take your left hand behind you, fingers facing away, deep breath in. Exhale, take your right elbow across your left knee and start to twist, 
keep your spine long, looking towards the back of the room. Exhale, gently release. That's it, nice. And we'll just finish where we started in our cross seated position with our nice long lengthened spines, feeling very tall through our back. We're just gonna take a few deep breaths here. Just feeling how your body feels at the end of the class. Great way to start your day. Good, couple of rounds of breath. We just reach the arms up, deep breath in. And then press down through the hands, energy through the fingers, strong arms as you bring them down. Deep breath in to reach up. Exhale like you're pressing something really hard away from you so you're really engaging those arms and back muscles. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, pressing down. Well done guys, very good job this morning. Fantastic work. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Lovely to see you all, you all did amazing, well done. Thank you, I'm feeling great. Oh great, oh I'm so happy to hear that. That honestly makes my day to hear that you're feeling great, good. <laughs> Thank you so much, that's a lovely start of the day. Pleasure Thank guys. You. My absolute pleasure. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. My pleasure. My love to you all. My bloody Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great day. See you soon.